So, welcome to Brick Trains. I'm Joey, and I picked up the lunchbox. So this lunchbox has been on been quite a journey for uh, me and a few other YouTubers like Brickzar, uh, Robin Hall, who's big on Instagram. Uh, at any rate, Robin Hall found this ad that appears on this lunchbox in a, a British. Is this British, I believe? Yes. Um, magazine called TV, TV Century. What is this? TV Century 21. I'm going to be able to get that close. There we go. TV Century 21. Uh, and these are from 1965, right? They say they're from 2065. but And that was kind of their, that was their kind of, their uh, gimmick or whatever that these were a hundred years into the future. So on the page of this one, which is page, uh, this is page 11. So December, no, wait a minute. Yeah, page 13, December 11th of 2065. So that'd be more like 1965. Uh, this is kind of a, what is this? Like a cross between a comic book and a TV well, I ain't really a TV guy, but a lot of these were on TV. These were like TV shows on, you know, here we go, Doctor Who. Look at the, got the bad guys there. The Delic, Delic, Delic. Yeah, somebody told me I said that wrong. I know I said it wrong. There's the Thunderbirds above, above the, um, uh, the Lego ad. So this has been quite, quite a long journey getting it here. I wish I could actually see a published date on here. Just to verify, this was 1965. Um, that's interesting. <laughs> 2065. They were, they, they didn't, they didn't even try <laughs> to hide it. So, 2065. I have two of these. Um, here's another one. I believe this is another Thunderbirds episode. And then there's some more Doctor Who on the back. So. Yeah, look, Fab One's been sabotaged. And I think the ad in this one is, oh, hey, I turned right to it. <laughs> it's probably because it's been open to that page a couple times. So yeah, there's the same, it's the exact same ad. Uh, and there are ads for other things in here. I think there's some Corgi ads, which is a, here's a Playcraft Railway. Check that out. Yeah. So, at any rate, comic book ads kind of tied into the, the British TV stuff. So, when Robin Hall showed this to, to Brigazar, and then Brigazar showed it to me, Robin Hall, I think, sent it to me too. Um, I think. Maybe not. <laughs> at any rate, I was like, I fell in love with the ad. He's like, oh, we got to have that, right? That's, that is cool. So, Went on eBay, had to go to the British version of eBay and pick these up. And then I scanned it, scanned the image in. And then we created this. So this is my poster <laughs> that I had printed and uh, hangs in my office usually, not right there. And we'll end up going back into the office. I believe I sent everybody that was involved a copy of the file so they could print their own poster, get a... I had to work a little bit to scan it in uh, at the at a high enough resolution that we would be able to get a good copy. And I think it came out pretty good. I even printed a mouse pad. The mouse pad didn't come out so well. And, you know, that has more to do with the people that made it than, um, than the image. So now a couple things about this. If you look at, if you look at it, it looks like they scanned in the lunchbox because there's this weird coloring in the in the in the lunchbox itself in the printing which looks like what's kind of happened in the in the newspaper version it's it kind of looks like that and even if you just faintly just barely faintly in the uh, in the helmet it even looks like there's some dark banding that runs actually this way across and in mine there is quite a bit of that dark banding. I saw some close-up pictures here. You should be seeing that dark banding that's running across like the yellow bricks 
Uh, and then some of the, the stuff in the set is kind of out of register. So, you know, the question is, is did they scan it or what, what did they do to get it in there? I think they worked really hard to make what they put on this lunchbox look like that, but they did mess up. Uh, it, was, it was also said that they cropped the image. They didn't really crop it. Everything that's here left to right and up and down is in that image, but it has been spatially changed, meaning some of the things are not in the right spot. So here's an image of a close-up, and if you notice under is and the, the two planets, and then right under the Lego O, there's another little like orange planet. Well, on the lunchbox, if you look on the lunchbox, they're not in the same spot. Now I have counted and looked at, and even the registration in this picture is a little off. It's a little wonky, but it, I think they redrew it. Even his crazy looking hand, <laughs> they didn't do anything to make it look better, but I do think they re redrew it. Uh, the Saturn planet over here is also a little bit different. Does that mean anything? No. If I was a modern uh, graphic arts and I was going to make a lunchbox, it probably went through two or three um, graphic artists to get it to something that they can actually print. Uh, I, I am kind of like Jabbo. I kind of hope they print a poster, an official Lego poster, because I would love for them to print one, I would love for them to do a tin, just like they've done some of these other tins with this same image. Now my guess is, is they're not, these are probably going to be, this will be the only thing that they'll do, um, unless they sell out of these and there's a, a real demand, of course then Lego will just make more of these instead of actually reusing that image. Uh, so what is in the image? All right, they're obviously selling Lego and they're selling this set. Now if you zoom in, and we're going to zoom in now on the box, this text in here, the moon rocket is one of the hundreds of models you can make with the 55 slash L Lego set. Now 55 Lego set would have came out in 68 and it didn't really look like this box. In fact, that box is this image which is set 050. So I can get that straight and in, in. I gotta get back. I got the camera a little too close. There, there is that image. And that is an 050 set. It's just a building block set. It's full of, full of what you would expect. A few plates, some wheels, windows, a few doors. I don't have an actual inventory. The brick set inventory is probably as accurate as we're going to get, but I don't know that it's 100% accurate. Um, just, we just really don't know. In, unless we were to find one of these sealed, uh, we'll never really know 100% truly if this is it, it, what was in here for me to even know if I have a complete one. Uh, in the back, oh, I got it upside down. This is going to make noise. There's the back side of it. So again, uh, it, 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 this is the set that they pictured on there. But they said 55L, so, uh, oh no, 55 dash, 55 slash dash. Um, so I'm not sure. And that image of that set is, here I'll show you what I have. This is this is what's on, on brick set and I think this is also what's on brick link or this image is on brick link um so you know all right so i got a lunchbox i got a i got a poster i have the original ads what else is printed on here well that cool little car which i believe that's probably a is that a porsche probably a porsche i don't have one of those but i do have that one which is the right scale wrong car right color let's see if i can all right, so these are the little HO type cars that Lego made back then. And this is absolutely a Lego car if you've never seen these before. See the Lego logo in the bottom there? 
So very much a Lego car. Here's one in the box. This is a little blue one. This is a Ford 17M. 668 is the number. So if you want to go on BrickLink and look it up, there's a 668. Very much Lego. Came in that same style of gray box that we see. Let's see, let's set that one down before I break it. Matches that same style. So this is all the same time frame. So that is why I really, really like the lunchbox. I think it's really cool. Not, not because I'm a lunchbox collector, although I do have, I think I have almost every lunchbox that it goes made in this tin. So there's a green one, a red one. I think there's a yellow one. Uh, yeah, they made a few. Um, but again, not, not a lunchbox collector, but I am vintage advertising. Vintage Samsonite advertising was great. Um, you know, and Samsonite was the company that made and sold Lego. I said made, made and sold Lego in the United States and Canada. They did it in Canada for quite a bit longer, all the way up into the 80s. 71, 72 timeframe was when they stopped making Lego. Samsonite stopped making Lego for Lego in the United States and distributing it. And it went all back to, uh, uh, back to Europe. And probably the Canadian people, the Canadian Samsonite probably. No, nah, I don't know. I don't know if there was some stuff coming through them or not. I don't know, I don't know how, the, how that worked. But uh, I do know that Canada was still making, making and distributing Lego in Canada. So up until the 80s. But I love all that kind of uh, advertising and stuff. They, they had some really cool advertising too. So, okay, well, I know this is, uh, this is a, I didn't mention it, this is a VIP gift. You spent, tw I, I say gift, I'm not sure that that's, that's what it is. It's a VIP promotion uh, and you had to spend 2,500 of your points to get it, plus you had to buy something. So, of course, when you go to the Lego website and you're gonna spend VIP points, you're forced to buy something. And then to get the free shipping, you're gonna to have to buy, you know, $40 worth of stuff. So I ended up buying something. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> trying to look around and see, cause it's probably laying. Oh, I don't, nah, I don't remember what I bought, but I also, I think I got another pirate bag, pirate bag freebie thing that they gave me, so. Okay, that's uh, that's all I got for now. This is uh, kind of a cool little cool little item. I just wanted to just want to tell you about it, tell you the history. And oh, I think and I I agree with Jabo Brigzar. I think Robin Hall started this. I don't think Lego would have done this if they had not seen because Robin Hall posted pictures of this ad on Instagram uh, and really kind of got the ball rolling rolling and. Uh, I think without him doing some research and digging it up, it would have never happened, uh, or this this would have probably never happened for Lego. Um, I'm glad it did. I'm glad it did. I like it. I like my I like my poster. So, all right, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. So you made it in the line. Did you get a lunchbox? How about set 50, 55? You have either one of those? If you do, let me know in the comments.